Information about the death of Al Pacino, the famous American movie star, last night made the entertainment world plunge into shock and sadness. Al Pacino, one of the best actors in cinema history, is not only a symbol of the entertainment industry but also an image of a career full of class and diversity. Born in New York in the 1940s, Al Pacino quickly attracted the attention of audiences and critics through his outstanding acting. He is famous for famous works such as The Godfather, Scarface, and Scent of a Woman. Al Pacino's ability to express emotion and variety in his roles makes him one of the most beloved and respected actors in the film industry. However, Al Pacino's private life is also full of challenges. The consequences of fame and work pressure have created tensions in his personal life. This fact is made worse by the fact that he has faced addiction problems, a problem that is widespread among celebrities. According to reliable sources of information, Al Pacino's death is believed to be due to the consumption of cocaine combined with alcoholic beverages during a capitalist party in a private room last night. The combination of these two drugs caused a sudden cardiac arrest. Causing one of Hollywood's top stars to tragically pass. Al Pacino's death is not only a great loss for his family and friends, but also a loss for the entertainment industry. Those working in the film industry are grateful for his talent and contribution in making cinema richer and more diverse. Audiences around the world also share the pain and grief in their hearts. Because they have lost a talented actor and had a great influence. Al Pacino's tragic death is a reminder of the consequences of substance abuse among celebrities and a call for those facing addiction and psychological issues to special help and care. At the same time, this is also an opportunity for society to pay attention and find ways to support people in the entertainment industry to cope with the pressure and stress of work, so that they do not have to bear the burden of fame and success alone. Let us remember Al Pacino not only through his outstanding roles on screen but also through his emotions and suffering in his private life. This is an opportunity to remember an excellent artist and let us learn together from his mistakes, because the ultimate goal of every human. Al Pacino was born on April 25, 1940, in the East Harlem neighborhood of New York City. His parents, Salvatore and Rose, were Italian immigrants who moved to the Bronx when Pacino was two years old. Pacino grew up in poverty, and his parents' relationship was tumultuous. His father abandoned the family when Pacino was just two years old, leaving his mother to raise him and his two siblings alone. Pacino was a troubled child who struggled in school and often got into fights. He found solace in the arts, particularly acting, and began studying at the Herbert Berghoff Studio while still in his teens. His first professional acting job came when he was just eighteen years old. Playing a small role in the play "Hello Out There." Despite his early success in acting, Pacino continued to struggle with personal issues, including a tumultuous relationship with his mother and battles with addiction. Nevertheless, his talent and dedication to the craft of acting would eventually lead him to become one of the most iconic actors of his generation. After gaining some experience in small theater productions and off-Broadway plays. Pacino landed his first starring role in a major Broadway production in 1969, playing the lead in "Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie." His performance was highly acclaimed, and he received a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play. Pacino's breakthrough role in film came in 1972 with Francis Ford Coppola's "The Godfather." He played the role of Michael Corleone, the youngest son of the Corleone crime family. And received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. The film was a commercial and critical success, solidifying Pacino's status as a rising star in Hollywood. In the years that followed, Pacino continued to establish himself as one of the most talented actors of his generation, starring in a string of acclaimed films, including Serpico (1973), Dog Day Afternoon (1975), and Scarface. 1983. In each of these films, Pacino brought an intense energy and authenticity to his performances, portraying complex characters with nuance and depth. Throughout his career, Pacino has worked with some of the most talented directors in the industry, including Martin Scorsese, Sidney Lumet, and Brian De Palma. He's also continued to work in theater, 
receiving critical acclaim for his performances in productions of The Merchant of Venice and Glengarry Glen Ross. Pacino's early career in theater and his subsequent success in films helped to establish him as one of the most talented and versatile actors of his generation. His dedication to the craft of acting and his willingness to take on challenging and complex roles have earned him a place in the pantheon of Hollywood greats. Throughout his career, Pacino has had his share of personal struggles, including battles with addiction and relationship problems. He's been open about his struggles with alcohol and drug abuse, which began in his early 20s and continued for several decades. He's credited therapy and support from his friends and family with helping him overcome his addiction and maintain sobriety. Pacino has also had tumultuous relationships with women, including a highly publicized relationship with actress Beverly D'Angelo, with whom he has twin children. He's also been linked to other high-profile actresses, including Diane Keaton and Penelope Ann Miller. Despite these personal challenges, Pacino continued to work steadily throughout the 1980s, although some of his performances during this period were seen as less successful than his earlier work. However, he experienced a major comeback in the 1990s with a string of acclaimed performances. In 1990, Pacino returned to his iconic role as Michael Corleone in The Godfather Part Three, earning critical praise for his performance. He followed this with an Oscar-winning performance in Scent of a Woman, 1992, in which he played a blind retired army officer. Pacino's performance was seen as a tour de force, showcasing his range and intensity as an actor. Pacino continued to deliver powerful performances in the 1990s, including his role as a cop in pursuit of Robert De Niro's character in Heat, 1995, which has been hailed as one of the greatest on-screen pairings in film history. Pacino's personal struggles with addiction and relationship problems have been well documented, but he has overcome these challenges to continue delivering powerful and memorable performances throughout his career. Al Pacino's health gets worse after his latest accident. Please patiently watch this video to the end to stay up to date on this tragic health news. Al Pacino has had a significant impact on the film industry and has become a cultural icon in his own right. His intense and nuanced performances have earned him critical acclaim and a loyal following of fans. He's also been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, including an Academy Award, multiple Golden Globe Awards, and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. In recent years, Pacino has continued to work steadily, taking on challenging roles in a variety of films and TV shows. He's collaborated with some of the most talented directors in the industry, including Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino, and David Mamet. One of Pacino's most notable recent performances was in Scorsese's The Irishman, 2019, in which he played the role of Jimmy Hoffa, the notorious labor leader who disappeared in 1975. The film was highly anticipated and received critical acclaim, with Pacino's performance being singled out for praise. Pacino also had a memorable role in Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 2019, in which he played Marvin Schwartz, a washed-up Hollywood agent. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Pacino's performance was seen as a highlight of the film. Throughout his long and distinguished career, Pacino has continued to push boundaries and challenge himself as an actor. He has shown a willingness to take on difficult and complex roles, and his dedication to the craft of acting has earned him the respect of his peers and fans alike. Al Pacino has had a colorful personal life with a number of high-profile relationships over the years. He has been linked to a number of famous actresses, including Diane Keaton, Beverly D'Angelo, and Penelope Ann Miller, among others. Pacino has three children, Julie Marie, Anton James, and Olivia Rose, all of whom he had with different women. Heartbreaking news has just been announced by his family that he has suffered a stroke. On April 6th, 
Al Pacino sought medical care after experiencing a terrifying episode at home. Witnesses say that the actor stumbled into his living room, looking frail and unsteady, before collapsing in a heap. Concerned bystanders quickly sprang into action, rushing to his aid and calling an ambulance for him. At 82 years old, Al Pacino faces some unique challenges that come with age. Doctors say that he is struggling with some interaction problems that are particularly diff difficult for patients his age to deal with. However, despite his age, Al Pacino has always been active and healthy. He regularly donates blood and participates in sports. His daughter, Julie Marie, says that their entire family's life has been turned upside down by this sudden health crisis. Al Pacino was diagnosed with a massive brain hemorrhage after a broken blood vessel. As a result, he has stopped communicating with everyone, leaving his loved ones feeling worried and helpless. At first, they assumed that his headache was simply a side effect of his constant medication. However, the situation quickly escalated. Al Pacino's condition rapidly deteriorated, and he was rushed to the hospital. Upon arrival, doctors discovered that he was unable to breathe on his own, and they had to intubate him. Sadly, after scanning his brain, doctors determined that the damage was too severe, and the disease is incurable. Al Pacino's family was devastated by the news, fearing that they might lose their beloved patriarch. His daughter, Julie Marie, recounts the moment she realized how grave the situation was, and how she feared the worse. Despite everything, Al Pacino's family remains hopeful that he will make a full recovery. Currently, the actor is on artificial sleep, waiting for his body to heal. No one knows for sure what will happen when he wakes up, or whether he will be able to recognize himself or those around him. Nevertheless, his family remains by his side, providing comfort and support during this difficult time. As fans of Al Pacino, we can only hope and pray that he will recover from this ordeal. The world needs his talent, his charisma, and his passion for acting. Let us all send positive vibes his way and keep him in our thoughts and prayers as he battles this health crisis. Health cri